thought you were at work. Uh, well, with Hayward trying to make the hospital a Hubbard-free zone, my shift got canceled. Sorry. No, I'm sorry for taking over your place. If I knew you'd be back so soon, I would have... I'm gonna go get dressed. Yeah. <clears throat> Your wardrobe for the shoot just came in, and it is fabulous. Oh, wait. I... Yeah, I think she's more excited about the shoot than anyone. How about you? You all set? Uh, wow. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Have you seen anything more gorgeous than this? Oh, it, it is beautiful. Um, but I'm not gonna be able to wear it. Don't be silly. It was fitted just for you. I know. It's just, um... Let me show you the rest. There is not one piece in here that I wouldn't give up food for a week to wear. Listen, I, I don't know how to say this, but the thing is... I'm not gonna be able to go to Italy. What? You're joking, right? No joke. Jake can't take the time off to go with me, and, and I don't want to go without him and Trevor. Do you know what you're giving up if you don't go? Well, I know what I'm giving up if I do. And time with my family is more important. Hey. hey. Listen, I'm sorry for dragging you away from your family. Right. No, 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 no. Amanda had to go to work. Oh, yeah, you did bang up the lake. Did you ice it? Yeah, and, and it could have been worse. Well, I mean, it's going to be worse if we don't make a couple changes around here. Uh, yeah, you know what? Actually, I was just dictating to myself how many steps it is from the living room to my bedroom. Mm. I think it might be a good idea to count how many steps it is from sharp object to, to sharp object. You know, you don't want to go around breaking things like this beautiful vase that I was the one, actually, I got that for you for your wedding, and I'm glad to see that you're using it. It's like, it's like a flea market in here. We've got to push some of this stuff back, you know? Like, yeah. that table, for example, maybe we just push that forward. I mean, that's just an accident waiting to happen, so can I push it? Okay, thanks, but do you think maybe I could help you to push no, this not, over, do some of this before my no, sight I got it. It's is okay. gone again? Okay. Why you got to talk that way to me? I know how tough you are. Well, good. All right, good. Fine, you push the sofa. I'm going to watch you. Oh, no, I'll watch you. Stop. I'll enjoy this. Go ahead. Well, get over here. Come well, on. See, now you need my help. Look how you are. Come on. You like, you, you like it, and you don't want my help, and you I do want my help. Oh, uh, this is heavier than I Well, we should get moving you. company. The hell's going on over here? You've had an issue with my marriage since day one. Your marriage is your problem. Please. You can't stand the fact that David and I are happy, so you're bound and determined to ruin it. Greenlee, I, I gave up trying to talk sense into you a long time ago. Then why are you still here? It's one thing if your husband's plans affect people that can just get up and walk away, but when they start affecting a charity, a charity like the Miranda Center abused women and children, they don't have the option just to get up and walk away. So this isn't about getting me to walk away with you. In case you haven't noticed, I, I have moved on. With Madison, a girl who's afraid of her own shadow. At least she's concerned about somebody other than herself. And she recognizes her mistakes, and she tries to do the next right thing. If a saint was what you wanted, then you never really could have loved me. Don't you ever question how I felt about you. You were the love of my life. As hard as that is to believe right now.